What's up, gang? Thank you very much for choosing Overland Subaru International. My name is Sebastian, and today we're gonna install some Amazon super bright, efficient spotlight. And this is actually DIY because we actually made an aluminum tube and we put these 40 watts spotlight on this bar and we installed two of them in the back and four of them in the front. Are they good through long time? This is what's gonna happen. You'll know the story at the end. Basically, it's gonna be a super short video today and this is actually what's going on. I want you to know exactly what you're buying and this is actually on Amazon. So, Amazon, is this good or not? Hmm, good question. Here we go. Let's see the installation by my father, which is a professional technician. All right, let's see that right now. What's up? All right. So, beautiful 40 watts. Something like, they say, 14,000 lumen each flood spot. Yeah. It was like that, but, um, you know, we're going with the budget. So, but the thing is very important. These beautiful uh, connector with dielectric grease into it. So that's the, that's the, that's the good thing of it. So every single one have one. And after we're going to install. I hope so, you're gonna like the installation. Follow me for the rest. All right, so uh, here we have. So this right here, it's very simple. It's two L bracket. I don't know if you could see it right there. Yeah, it's two L bracket, which is actually on the bumper, screw on the bumper. I would need to actually put some paint on this because they're pretty rusted. I don't know, I'm a, it's not, I don't know if I have some, I don't know. I'll look at it. Anyway, the plan is this beautiful baby lead bar. Oh yeah. Boom is going there. So let's, let's do that. Oh, mean machine, mean machine. It's not uh, screwed yet, but getting there, getting there looks it looks good looks very good and I got the two in the back I don't know if you ever saw it by the way if you want to see any sticker I got some and I got the other one here but not off-road Subaru uh, Quebec is actually the other one I have Overland Subaru International same thing but yeah this one just to give you an idea I got it uh, now I got it uh, five years and it's still very nice so anyway these are the two and as you can see same connector right here these are very good connector so there you go <laughs> and I don't want to say about too much things about that but something is coming back here something like that yeah good 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 so Yep, yep, yep. So we need to plug these thing. Right now, very simple lead bar. Uh, aluminum tube. And this thing, I forgot to, I wanna paint it, but so far it's gonna stay like that. You, they say do the job once and that's it, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'm gonna paint it some way, somehow. That's that's the idea but we'll see so far nice so far nice plenty of fun plug it in tie wrap ground talk to our technician it's a lot of fun technician electronic there you go ground over there oh we're missing my beautiful battery by the way battery have a look, North Star battery. Pretty, pretty, pretty hard. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, AGM battery. 
but that's what it is. And motor needs to clean up a bit, but it's all right. So wire over here and it's going inside. And here we go. So for the, ah, shut up. So for the front, you got this beautiful baby there. For the back, you've got this beautiful baby there. And no, I don't want to plug these lights. I'm not sure. But it looks it looks pretty uh, clean. I don't like these big switch and everything. So I think that's going to be cool. It looks very beautiful. And at the end, these need some love. But they work fine in the back. Yep. Right, nice and slowly. We need to actually wrap it up. Almost done. And um, yeah, man, these are pretty, pretty nice. Uh, we need to finish with the electric tape and we're done. So, and reinstall that beautiful battery there. And that's it. So that's it, that's all. Now, Wednesday, that's gonna be the tire carrier over there. So follow for the rest. All right, guys, it's getting late right now. And this is, as you could see, that was a short video. It was very nice. Installation is very good. However, here's the answer. Amazon, this is pizza beep unfortunately okay uh i'll show you some picture right now if you could look at it right now these become like pain in the butt the first thing i did is actually put urethane into the uh ceiling so these spot could be sealed and no moisture could get in for i don't know which reason that thing rusts we actually took part one of the light to double check what was going on and there was still some humidity inside of the the housing and everything so i don't know how somehow water comes in uh plus the color of it normally it's actually powder coated black but it was actually getting like grayish and the 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 lens was getting yellowish two of them of the four in front came down this way now, is that a problem? It is a problem. Now, we're talking about after a year or so, this is what's going on. They're not even there anymore. I'm looking for super good light, like the one I just installed. If you could look at it, the video for this diodynamic super backlight is amazing now i could say that today i just removed completely these amazon cheap stuff to replace with something good yes they're not budget friendly i was fed up to paying like 200 dollars every year to change these front amazon uh, lights but at the end that's what it is now i don't have lights in front no more i'm uh, gonna change that soon but that's what it is. Just to give you a heads up of actually one year after this installation and to give you the information about this video. Normally, I didn't actually came out with this video before that because I wanted to test them and see how they good at it. Unfortunately, they're not. And I took, um, I thought they look amazing when you do receive them, but unfortunately this is not. So here you go. Look at down below the uh, diodynamic uh, backup light I did, and they're actually flashing, or they could be positive on, or they have position also, which I never installed, but that's what it is. So yeah, this is the way to do it. Now, I hope you did like this small video for a review of these Amazon light. Please, unfortunately, don't purchase them. It's not approved. Check, have a good night. Cheers, guys. Safe in the trail and leave it better than you found it. Thank you for choosing Overland Subaru International. For next, there's video almost every week. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Peace out. There you go.